Hello everyone, it's Don once again with another look at the construction going on here in the Villages. As most of you know, last week the Villages put out an update on the Sawgrass Grove area and the golf course. Today I'm going to share with you some of the additional information that I've found. First up is the Azelle Recreation Center. The developer's video indicates that interior work is going on in this building, and based on the construction traffic, that seems to hold very true. We know this rec center is going to be golf-themed, but let's take a look at the plans to see what the rooms look like. The blue room is the big auditorium with the stage. The two green rooms are the ones with the folding wall that can be divided. The pink room is another big room not without a folding wall. The yellow is a card room, and the burgundy is a fitness center. Next up is the sports pool. This appears to be just like most of the other regional rec centers. A large pool with a bunch of swim lanes and room for other activities. Next to the pool we have the tennis courts and pickleball courts. Nine pickleball courts are going in here. And as you can see, it's right near some houses, so they get to enjoy the, the musical notes of pickleball. Next up, we have a relatively minor building. This small building is the starter shack for the putt and play course that's being built. One of the questions at the VHA Town Hall this past month was about parking at the Azelle Recreation Center. There are 537 spaces planned, none of which are dedicated golf cart spaces. The entertainment portion of Sawgrass Grove is next. First up is McGrady's. McGrady's is scheduled to be about 9,000 square feet and should accommodate 335 people. McGrady's is going to be on the west side of the entertainment square. Here's the floor plan. We'll rotate it around so it's facing north. The blue is the bar, the green is the restaurant, and the yellow is the outside service areas of McGrady's. This small building next to McGrady's is the restroom for the entertainment area of Sawgrass Grove. The entertainment stage will be at the south end of the entertainment square. This is the entertainment area between McGrady's and the Sawgrass Market. It's about 120 feet by 120 feet, so it's about the same size as the other three town square entertainment areas. At the north end of the square is this building. The upstairs is the control room for lighting and audio for the stage and entertainment. And the downstairs, you can see it's a bar. Just to the north of the Sawgrass Market building is the Sales Outpost building. It's for sales of the village's biggest product, you guessed it, homes. Inside the building, the green square is the diorama of the sales area, and the two blue rooms are the opportunity rooms. Next up is the major building of Sawgrass Grove, the Sawgrass Market. This building is supposed to house a bunch of shops. Not a lot has been said about what is going to be inside of it. When I first heard Sawgrass Market, I thought retail space. But as you'll see here in just a second, eh, not so much. I went digging and found the build-out plans dated February 2nd of this year. I colored the plans to make identification a little bit easier. First up, in green, is the Golf Pro Shop. Next up in orange is a vegan restaurant with what appears to be a bar. In light blue is the produce store. I'm assuming it to be fresh fruits and vegetables. In brown is a pizza restaurant. It also appears to have a small bar. In blue is burgers, and it has a bar also, apparently. In yellow is a fish and chips store, also with another large bar area. The area in red is designated as a butcher. The green area is listed as a market, so I'm assuming dry goods. Next up in blue is labeled a classroom. It looks a lot like a bar also. Dead smack in the middle of this pink area is listed as a bar. With all of this, it looks like Sawgrass Grove is soon to be the place to party. 
The last major item in Sawgrass Grove is the cart barn. This is where they park the extra golf carts that they use for rentals for the championship course. Here's another look at Sawgrass Grove, and as I said, I think this has the potential to be party central in the villages in the very near future. Leaving Sawgrass Grove, we'll zip across Megason Road, and we'll take another look at the starter shack for the new championship course going in. The white area directly in front of us is not a sand trap, that's where they're going to have a practice putting green. So let's leave Sawgrass Grove. And we're going to fly over the village of Case and Hammock, and then we're going to take a look at the Live Oak Golf Course. So this is Case and Hammock. You can see they're starting to lay in the roads. This one's a little farther behind Citrus Grove, which we'll take a look at in a minute. On the right side of the screen is a little bit of the village of St. Catherine, the Aviary Recreation Center, and the village of Hawkins. You can see the distinctive road layouts for villa communities, as well as several cul-de-sacs for regular designer homes. The long white area here is a berm that's being built to separate the turnpike from the golf course. The Live Oak 9 is still in the early stages of development, but you can see the cutouts for the greens and the tee boxes and some of the sand traps. There's also a very large lake that they've built. I've rotated around and we're heading back north towards the Sawgrass Grove area and you can see more of the Live Oak Nine. Let's rotate around real quick and we'll head back south towards the Southern Oaks Bridge location. Nothing's been released officially yet, but all my checking indicates that this bridge will start construction probably sometime this summer. All the information posted so far indicates that this is going to be four lanes for cars, two in each direction, as well as two lanes for golf carts going across. The old Bailey Bridge is going to have to come down. It doesn't fit in the plan. You can actually see how Bexley Trail angles off a little bit to the left of the existing bridge. Here's a look at some of the plans for the new bridge. I'll put a red box around the existing bridge, and I'll point out two areas that go under the new bridge from the existing bridge that have to be removed. Therefore, the old bridge has to go away. You can see it here with the arrows. We'll come up on the neighborhood recreation area for the village of Citrus Grove. It's just about done. You can see they're getting ready to put water in the pool soon. Climbing back up, we'll take a look at some of the residential areas of Citrus Grove. And coming up ahead of us is the maintenance area for the new golf course. Citrus Grove right now has a little over 100 homes under construction with more starting each day. It's amazing how fast they're building. Here again we see the golf course. It's starting to green up quite well. This is the Laurel Oak 9. You can see the fairways are already coming in. They haven't laid the sod yet for the greens or the tee boxes. As you can see, the golf course is quite a distance away from the turnpike. That's probably a good thing with the way some of the folks in the villages play golf. Lots of hooks and slices that'll send the ball just about everywhere. Another quick look at the new bridge location, and then we'll rotate north and head back towards the starter shack and the sawgrass grove area. Again, you can see lots of grass growing in the fairways. I'll rotate now to the southeast and we'll take another look at the village of Citrus Grove. Up ahead is the neighborhood recreation area. You can see the many homes that are still under construction here. I'm going to rotate now to the southwest and we're going to take a look at a group of home sites. These home sites on this little body of water, this little pond, as well as the pond up ahead that borders the golf course, are definitely going to be premium lots. I think they're going to have some fabulous views also. 
I don't know when they're going up for sale, but it's probably not going to be too many more weeks until they do. Here's another look at the Laurel Oak 9. I'm going to speed things up here and we're going to get to the end of the Laurel Oak 9. We'll gain a little altitude now. And up ahead, you see this area. This is the Gibson Water Treatment Plant. There are two major wells being put in here, and this is going to be one of the major sources of fresh water for this area. There's actually several of these well sites scattered throughout the villages. This site is actually right near the Lake County line, but it's in Sumter County. Let's use this map, and we're going to zoom in and take a look at the new Community Support District and where it's located and some of the things going on there. Work is already starting in this area, so let's take a closer look at what's going to be going in here. This is the Phase 11 site plan that came out in October of last year. The burgundy area is the K-8 school. The pink area is all residential. The green is commercial. The dark blue in the center is the new high school. And the yellow, well, I'll talk about that in just a minute. The big push for this area right now is the new high school. This is the layout for the new high school. The yellow is the academic buildings. The green building at the top is the sports building, so the gymnasium and things like that. The purple building is the administrative building, and the light blue building south of the square is the cafeteria. You can see that they also have a football field, a soccer field, four practice soccer fields, a baseball field, a softball field, beach volleyball courts, tennis courts, basketball courts, Altogether, the school is about 435,000 square feet of building space, and the sports fields are about 805,000 square feet. This looks like it's going to be an incredible complex. I'll talk more about the village's school system in a future video, though. This is the intersection of Marsh Bend Trail and Central Parkway, or County Route 501 and County Route 470. The striped area is the utility vehicle staging area that was built a couple of years ago in preparation for a storm. This is looking south. Along County Route 470 is the location of the Gibson Wastewater Treatment Plant. There's a series of four rapid inrush ponds that make up an area about a mile long that's being built right now. This is looking west along County Route 470. We'll turn a little bit to the southwest. You can see lots of clearing work is going on, but they're still in the early stages of clearing this land in preparation for the school. Somewhere about here will be the new high school. Off in the distance near the top of the screen is where the village's home warranty services building is located. At the top of the screen is the Ash Grove Cement Plant, and just to its right is the Coleman Federal Penitentiary. The nearest prison facility from 470 is about a half a mile north, and it's about three quarters of a mile south of the village of McClure. Here's the Gibson Wastewater Treatment Plant facility again. The new Central Parkway will run across the top and to the right of what we're seeing here. As I said, not a whole lot to see here, just a lot of dirt being moved, so let's move on to something more exciting. Going back to this map, the yellow area is what's known as Phase 12A and B coming up. Taking a look at the future road maps, Phase 12A and B are located in this area right about here. So let's take a little closer look at what's in 12A and B. The white areas are all residential. The green area in the upper left is commercial, we'll talk about that in a minute. And the yellow, well, that's all labeled as non-residential. I'm no genius, but that sure looks like a big golf course to me. And probably that little pink area is where the country club is going to be for that golf course. Of course, this is just speculation on my part, and all of the plans are all subject to change at any moment. So speaking of change, we saw this map a little while ago. It's changed also in the last couple of months. In this area, you can see they've added some blue and some other commercial areas. You can see it flashing here. This is commercial property and what's now being called the urban core. 
last August when these areas were first announced, the urban core was up by the hospital area. Well now there's actually two urban cores. The red here shown on the map is the one by the hospital or the original area and the green is the other urban core. These are going to be town square like facilities. You can see where the Gibson water treatment plant is and Sawgrass Grove is located also in relation to these areas. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. I try my best to bring you factual information. As always, any of this information is subject to change at a moment's notice. That's the way the construction industry works. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Don Wiley, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.